This video is sponsored by Retouch For Me. They're currently running an offer, so make sure to stay to the second part of the video to check it out. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you this really stunning photo shoot that we're doing during the golden hour in this beautiful studio. Look at the light. We are going to be shooting with a really beautiful redhead model. I can't wait to show you. And we are going to be using some interesting filters and things to make the photos look super dreamy and just really fairy tale like. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get right into it. Okay, let's get you against the wall. Yeah, cute, perfect. And let's see what the light is like. It looks really pretty. I just need to close this a little bit. It's such a pretty studio. The light is just so beautiful. It's just so soft. Okay, beautiful. And look at me, beautiful. Love. It's so gorgeous. Okay, wait, I have a filter on. Let me take the filter off. We're gonna, it's like a dreamy lens filter. It basically like um, makes everything kind of like slightly blurred. Yeah. The filters that I'm mentioning in this video are the Prism Lens FX filters. I am not sponsored by them. However, they did gift me the filters to test out. I saw them on my Instagram recently and I really loved the look and I wanted to try it myself. I've been chasing this dreamy, moody vibe for a while and this just hits the spot. If you do want to check them out, I will link them down in the description below so you can have a look. They have a lot of filters. I got this moody filter with an adapter. It's a 77 to 82 adapter, which means I can use it on multiple lenses, which is super handy and it saves me hassle of buying multiple filters. Here's a little example of what the footage actually looks like. It makes the blacks much softer, which I think is such a nice look, especially when working with harsher light. So I'm definitely going to be shooting with these a lot more. Beautiful. Um, I would love, I tried it here before. We have to be careful with this because I feel like this is very, very not sturdy, but I think if we had it like this, yeah. just the rest of it against here. And if you were to like maybe like rest sideways somehow, so maybe just like a little bit on yeah. your booty, kind of like this, I think that'd be really nice. Beautiful. Which maybe do something a little bit different. Yeah, with this hand, perfect. Oh, beautiful. Mm, gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Let me show you on camera. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Go to the top, my gosh. That's girl. so beautiful, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, beautiful. That's so stunning. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, just like that. Oh, beautiful. That's gorgeous. Do that. Mm-hmm. Mm. So pretty. a little bit more here. Oh. Okay, let's get you a little bit out of the main sun, so just like right here. Perfect. Beautiful. And look at me, yeah. Would it be a bit more straight on towards me? Yes, perfect. Oh, love, 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 beautiful. Do you know what? What if you were like, is there like a way for you to like, yeah, lean without like, yeah. Should mm -hmm. I look at this or you? Uh, I think me. Oh, that's beautiful. That's so gorgeous. What if the hand at the back was kind of like uh, resting your head, if that's possible? Oh, beautiful. Ooh, that's so stunning. Um, can we pull up this this part, like the, the the skirt on this side, a little bit? Is the is that the other one that has the slit? Yeah, that's fine. We just might have to make our own. Yeah, just pull it up a little bit. Perfect. Oh, so gorgeous. Oh yeah, love, 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 love. So beautiful. And now can we do this, kind of, can you like lean down? You don't have to have the pencil, you can just drop it or just put it down, yeah. Beautiful. Yes, 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 love, so gorgeous. 
gorgeous. Oh, just like that? Just the way you're brushing your, through your hair right now? Love, that's so pretty. I will move this, I'll move it closer to you. Let's do something, yeah, yeah, with this hand, perfect, love. Gorgeous. Yes, beautiful. Love. Let's stay like that, the move. I'm just gonna put this a bit more like that. Okay, let's get you to stand up. I think if you were against the wall with the slit, like yeah. this sideways, and just kind of like this, I think it's gonna be super hot. Oh, you're beautiful. Um, let's get you more into the light, so a bit more back here. Yes, perfect. Great. Yes, love. Yes. Oh, love, 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 love. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. That looks so gorgeous on you. Amazing. I love when the, the dress is actually on top of your knee. It's really pretty. Yeah. And then like pull up the little thing again. Yes, exactly. Maybe, do you know what? Half this leg so it's a bit easier instead of holding it up. Yeah. Maybe put it like on this step. No, the other one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, do you mind? Yeah. Pull it up maybe like, pull up your underwear so you can't see it. Yeah, mm-hmm. And then maybe, maybe let it fall actually. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, sure. Oh, gorgeous. Close your eyes, super dreamy, magical. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my goodness. That's stunning. So good, unlock at me. For a few. Yeah, ooh. What if your head is, yeah, mm-hmm. Your, your head this way, yes, perfect. Let's get you standing against the, the window, like right here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> Me. Yep. I think there's just something about the, our posture when we stand yeah. on tippy toes that just like looks better for whatever reason. That's beautiful. Well, we still have the little slither of light. Let's put you right here. Oh yeah, it's so nice. What if we had like something, actually, do you know what I would love? Maybe like, because your back is so open, yeah. maybe like something like this. Like that. That'd be really cute. I think like right next to each other, like this is perfect, yeah. And you could have one or two like with the hand higher as well. Yeah, you're good, <laughs> take your time. You don't have to be standing on the tippy toe on this leg, on the bottom leg, just, just point this one. You're fine, yeah, exactly. That's totally fine. Oh, that's beautiful here. Let's flip the hair to the side now. Mm. Oh, wow. And face the wall a little bit more, yes. Mm -hmm. <gasps> yes. And your head a bit more closer towards me on the wall, yes, perfect. <gasps> love, 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 love. Oh, beautiful, just like that, that's magical. That's insane, I love this. That's so stunning. <gasps> yes, 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 beautiful. Okay, so now that we have the photo shoot done, I'm going to go into Photoshop and launch the Retouch For Me plugins. My photo here is unedited and uncolor graded, which as you guys know is an unusual thing for me, but Retouch For Me just released a new plugin that I wanted to show it to you guys and test it out. So this is the actual photo and I'm going to go into Retouch For Me and their brand new plugin is called Color Match. So we're going to go into Color Match and the whole concept behind Color Match is that it matches colors from your um, reference images and it applies it onto the current image. I've tested programs like that that were similar before and they are always kind of a little bit ganky I think with a lot of these programs. You have to keep in mind that it all depends on the light and how the color scheme in your photos is, so you might not get the perfect match all the time. 
I will test out a photo from this photo shoot that I collaborated in Lightroom just to kind of see if I can achieve a similar result. And then I'll use one of the photos that I have used, that I have shot before, to just see if it works. Okay, I'm going to use this image here, as you see it's kind of a similar shot. And I have to say, it actually looks really good. This is like the full color and luminance, and I think it's actually a really, really close match. I think the skin is a little bit green um, than the original, but it's nothing too major. And you can kind of adjust it a little bit, you can make it a little bit brighter or darker. You can reduce the color a little bit if you think it's too strong. But I do actually really like this vibe, and I think it's actually a really, really close color match. But again, the photos themselves are pretty similar, so it's not that strange. Now, let's go to another image. I'm going to pick another one of my own, just for the copyright purposes. And I'm going to maybe use a photo that has a somehow similar color scheme, just to kind of see if my theory works. So we're gonna go and use maybe this image. It does have a little bit of blue, but hopefully it works. So as you see here, I think the blue of the pool um, kind of leaks in into the background a little bit, but I think we can fix it. And I think we can make it look interesting, so... We're going to go into luminance and color and we're going to play around with it and as you see i actually kind of like it i think it's a vibe it's definitely a bit different um than the original image so it's definitely not a perfect match but as i said i think it's kind of difficult with a lot of these programs it is kind of a touch and go however saying that i think it's a really good opportunity for you guys to test out different color schemes in your photos and see different styles and kind of what you like and what you don't like. So I think it's a really, really good cool, cool concept for um, a filter. I'm going to go back to the original um, selection that I have. We'll delete the reference, even though I do actually really like it. We're going to go into this image here, and this is the edited photo, and then we can see what it looks like. And as you see, it's pretty close to the original, which I love. Maybe we'll reduce the color a little bit so it's not as yellowy. And now that we have that, we're going to apply. You can also export it as a LUT, which is pretty cool. So you can reapply these kind of as presets. So if you are not working in Lightroom, if you're a Photoshop user, it's always a really good idea to do that. Um, so we have the photo here. Now we're going to go into Retouch For Me again. We're going to use Dodge and Burn as I always do. Okay, this is the image. Okay, so here's the original. And here's the edited photo. As you see, there are very small differences, but I really love how it looks. I love the colors that the color match selected for my image. And I also love how the skin smoothing works, how much texture we still have in the skin, but how um, nice and edited it is. This is another example of an image that is on color graded and unedited. I thought I would just show you quickly. My camera died, so it will be off camera, but you get the idea. So this is a photo, we're going to go into Touch For Me color match and we're going to use one photo from the photo shoot that I already color graded. Let's use this one for example, it's a similar idea. And as you see, this is the full color, full luminance. I actually really love this look, I think it's pretty close to the original that I edited. This is the original editing that I have on this photo and to be honest, I actually prefer this version of it because it's not as intense in terms of the color. And now let's see, we can also adjust the blend, which is pretty cool. So you can either make it brighter or darker or like more intense and less intense, which is kind of nice. So you have a bit more control with the blend. Okay, now let's use another photo as an example from a similar color scheme. I think we're going to go for this one because it is very golden -y and very sunny. So let's go here. And as you see, I actually do really like it. It's kind of a vibe. We're going to go full luminance and color. And as you see, it's pretty intense. However, if we lower the blend on this one, I think we can get something really nice. Uh, we can also lower down the lumens a little bit and then maybe the color as well. So it's not as intense in your face. Um, but overall, I think it's a really nice vibe. Again, it's not 100% the same thing. And I think with all these programs, it's kind of an estimate. It is an AI program that's running it. But I think this is actually a pretty close shot. I'm going to go back to um, the original that I used, I'm going to use this photo and I'll keep it like that. I actually really like it. I think it's a really good match and it's actually a better edit than my Lightroom photo. So here's to that, you know? Uh, so we're going to apply this here and then I'm going to do my usual retouch for me, um, dodge and burn just for the face and any other details that need to be edited. 
Another option if you don't have a good reference to use is to just have the preloaded LUTs that they have on here. You can go into the LUT manager and it's going to load with a bunch of selections. For example, this one, I just went into editor's pick to just see whatever they think is the best in terms of the LUTs. So I'm gonna click into it and then there is a bunch that I can use. As you see, they're loading. And once I have that, I will put the blend quite much lower just for the sake of it looking how I want it to. And then you can just go through all these LUTs and see what the colors look like which I think is pretty nice because if you're unsure of what you want, it's a good way to find something in between. You can look at different colors and how they affect the image and adjust them accordingly. And as you see, I'm getting some really good results here, so it's definitely worth checking out as well. If you like what you see, make sure to check out Retouch for me. They're currently offering 30% off to all my followers on all their plugins, so it's a great deal. Make sure not to miss it, it's only for the next few days. I'm going to put a link for you in the description below. Okay guys, that's it for today. I just wrapped up and about to leave the studio it's so beautiful i hope you enjoyed the photos let me know what you guys think and if you'd like to see more shoots like that and i'll see you guys in the next one bye